Alright, I guess I'll have to do this unboxing of Milan Indian Cuisine the old school way. Since Facebook is telling me I cannot post a live stream until November 29th, even though I've not received any notifications or emails or pop-ups saying what I've done wrong. I do have two strikes against me. One for uh, announcing that Trump was going to declare himself the winner of the election and try to stop all voting, but unfortunately I said that at 10 p.m. instead of 2 a.m., so it was considered to be voter interference at that time. All right, anyway, I'm going to try to set this down where I can, uh, where you can see and I can go through here. Let's see. Uh, does it allow me, does not allow me to flip it around, so I'll have to do it this way. All right. This is $54 worth of food. And I did ask them to send me some some free non bread, but they may not have. Alright, these are the samosas, and I'm gonna be photographing everything as I open it. That is the Malak or uh, Malakatani soup, I think. No. I got some kind of soup, but I don't remember what it was right now. But I'll try some. Yeah, I think it's Malakatani because it does taste like lentils. Delicious. That was five bucks. I don't know. I'd say maybe that was a little pricey for this amount. All right. This is the cucumber reta, which I don't know what the hell I'm going to use that on yet, but let me get a photograph of it. That was only two bucks. Just seems like a really good sauce. Let me get one of the, the mulligatani. Just so people know what to expect. When they order through Grubhub. Alright. I don't know what that is. Some type of sauce. That's a dessert. Here. Alright. And. Oh, look at this nice appetizer. Uh, Tray. I think that was 11 bucks. That definitely looks good. And this is probably basmati rice. Yes, that's, they do give you lots of rice. So, start by putting some rice on here. Oh, what is that? Some kind of crazy seed. Maybe a coriander or something. I don't know what the hell that is. Wow, spicy. All right. And then this is the seafood Vindaloo 1750. Which looks phenomenal. And it's got scallops. Shrimp, potatoes, fish. Let's say a fairly good amount. All right, enough of that, whatever that is. All right, let's. All right, let's just take a couple of bites. I'll sit down for this. Oh, 
All right, I think this might be the chitney stuff for the samosa. So, and that is a big ass samosa though. These things are only four bucks. So let's try that. Oh, looks good already. Mmm. Samosas appear to be filled with, I don't know, very fragrantly spiced, maybe potatoes perhaps? I don't really know. They are delicious. Very pleased with this purchase. Napkin. Alright, I have no idea what all this crap is, but let's see, that's the dessert, that's the cucumber raita, that's the soup. Alright, this is, I would say, possibly tandoori chicken, and I'm going to try that in the raita. Mmm, mmm. Get that. Moist, tender, delicious. Alright. I'm guessing this is beef. I'm going to try that in the cucumber rata also. Mm. A little more chewy, but still delicious. Spicy. All right. All right, definitely a huge sea scallop. And I'm going to give this a shot. Mmm, I got everything medium spiced, which is enough to know it's spiced, but not overwhelming. I do feel a little something, though. I gotta say, this meal is fit for a Raja. Lap to sleep. Come to you Friday night. Milan Indian Cuisine Boxing Takeout. Over and out.